Hey, it's welcome. Yeah, so in the previous video, um, I showed you how to find the angle between two vectors in two dimensions. And so here we'll do it in three dimensions. And so here's a question we have to answer. It says, find the angle between the vector u equaling i minus j plus k and then the x-axis. So we have to find the angle between this vector and the x-axis. But wait, the x-axis is not a vector. So how do we do this? We think a little and realize that, first of all, assuming that they mean the positive x-axis, and they do mean that here, because I wrote this question. Um, yeah, assuming that they mean that, um, then we could just pick a random vector along the x-axis, right? Because the length of a vector uh, is not going to determine the angle between the two vectors, right? Like this uh, vector we pick along the x-axis could be as long as we want, and that wouldn't affect the angle between the x-axis and this vector u, right? All right, all right. Uh, but as always, we should start our solution by writing down this dot product formula. And just to help you out with uh, what's going on here, and so you can get a sense of the angle we're looking for, I made this drawing, right? And so uh, the x-axis is this black axis, and this way is the positive x-axis, in case you don't know your 3D coordinates. And then uh, the um, red axis is the y-axis, and the blue axis is the z-axis. And so uh, this vector u here uh, will be uh, 1 along x, and so that's i, and then negative 1 along uh, y, so that's minus j, and then 1 up, um, and so that's uh, plus k, right? And so uh, u, the vector u, is what's here in green. And uh, notice that this vector u is like slanted a little to the left. It's not on top of the x-axis, right? the shadow of this vector u would not be on the x-axis. It'd be like along the diagonal of this square box right here, right? Okay, and um, so the angle between uh, this vector u and the x-axis, although it's tempting to think is 45, is actually not 45. It's about 54 degrees, as you'll see by the time we're done here, because of that like slanting to the left of this vector like makes it not 45. If uh, this vector u was directly above the x-axis, and therefore had coordinates like 1, 0, um, and then uh, 1, that is i plus uh, k, uh, then the angle here would have been 45 if this were exactly on top of the x-axis. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, uh, but let's get on with this, and uh, let's pick a random vector along the x-axis, but why not be really cheap and pick the vector um, v, the second vector, to be just i, that is like... Um, we already said it, but along the x-axis, um, j and k are 0, so why not just make it of length 1? And so if we do that, um, then our vector v along the x-axis can be 1, 0, 0, and this vector u clearly written in com column format is 1, negative 1, 1, and so then u dot v we can do by multiplying uh, corresponding components and adding them together, so that's 1 times 1, and then plus 0, plus 0, so that's 1 on the left side. And then uh, the length of u is root 3. The length of v is 1. And uh, cosine of alpha, we don't know. That's uh, what we need, right? Um, um, and, and so like first, we get started this way from everything I've just said. And then next, we divide by root 3 on both sides to write this. And clearly, we're going to then do cosine inverse uh, to learn that the answer is as I said earlier about 54 degrees, 54.74 to uh, two significant digits. Yeah, all right, cool. I am uh, done with this video, and otherwise, lots more vector videos to come. Keep watching. Take care.